Hello everyone, my name is Travis with Uncut Incorporated and today's tutorial is teaching you how to speed up Windows 7. So the first thing is we're going to do is go ahead and disable uh, Super Prefetch. To do this, you need to go to your start menu and type in regedit, also known as registry editor. Once this is open, you want to go ahead and get it to an area where you can, you can see this box here, or I guess, listen to me talk. So uh, let me go back first and clear all these out. So what you want to do is go to HQ local machine and then system. Uh, let me move this here. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it. And you want to go to um, current control set, control, session manager. If I can find that. And then you want to select memory management. Then prefetch parameters. You will find something called enable super prefetch. You want to go ahead and double click it and replace the value of 3 with 0. You want to select OK. And then you go ahead and close that. Next thing is you need to download these two uh, programs. The links are in the description below. It is CC Cleaner and Defibrer. Uh, CC Cleaner is known as Crack Cleaner, and I'm just used to saying CC Cleaner, even though it's not supposed to be like that. And Defragler, it is also like Windows um, Disk Defragmenter, but it's better. So in this case, once you have CC Cleaner downloaded, we're going to go ahead and run it. You want to go ahead and just um, check everything that you want deleted, but do not select Run Cleaner yet. You want to go to Applications and select everything you want to have to be deleted too. In this case, I already already unchecked everything I did want deleted and what I want deleted. So once you've ran Cleaner, then you're fine. I'll go ahead and just run the Cleaner again. Okay, now that it's done, it's 22 megabytes because I kind of messed up on the last tutorial on this. So next, you want to go to Registry and select Scan for Issues. Now that this is done, you want to go ahead and select Fix Selected Issues. In this case, you may have a lot depending on how often you do it. But if you want to keep it back up in your registry, go ahead and select Yes when you select Fix Selected Issues. But in this case, I'm selecting No because I don't need to do that. Once I click this and then you'll be pulled up with this menu. You want, set, you want to select fix all selected issues, which is two, so it's not a whole lot. You can go ahead and close this now. Next, what you want to do is to, um, go to start menu and type in run. You want to go ahead and type in um, shift 5 percent sign and then type in temp shift 5 percent sign. To pull do the percent sign, you are to select shift 5. Simple as that. And once you have typed in percent, temp percent, Select OK. Once you're here, you may have a lot of files when you don't have to do this, like I said. You want to go ahead and do select Control A, Control D, press Enter. And then just skip anything you're not able to delete. From there, you want to go and close this folder again, back to the start menu, type in run. You want to type in prefetch. Uh, if it cannot, oh, not by made a typo. Or did I? Prefetch. Yeah, I made a typo. So type in prefetch and you should get a folder looking like this with a lot of stuff. And then you go, go ahead and select Control A and then Control D and select Enter. Next, to speed up the booting of your system, you want to go ahead and start menu, type in MS Config, also known as Microsoft Configuration. You want to go to Boot, Advanced Options, select number of processors, and select the maximum amount you can use. In this case, I have four processors, so I will select four. Select OK. Go to startup and disable all startup items, or at least have the ones checked that you use. In this case, I don't have any um, specific startup items that I do need, so I have them all disabled. Then you want to go to services and select hide all Microsoft services. Disable anything that you do not need in here. I have a lot of stuff that I do not need, so I'm going to have um, Intel, Center, and more. Actually, I don't need that. It should be Apache 2.4. So basically, once you have got everything you wanted in here to run go ahead and select apply and select ok do exit without restarting next one to do is turn windows features on or off then select enter from here you guys gotta wait for this to load sometimes it may take a while depending on how fast your computer is and once this is loaded you want to go ahead and um, unselect games I'm pretty sure a lot of you do not play any of these old games on the computer anymore. 
So go ahead and disable it. Next thing is Microsoft .NET Framework 3.5.1. Go ahead and um, open it completely by pressing the plus sign and select both folders like I just did. And then scroll down until you find tablet PC components. And then um, uncheck that and select OK. I'll go ahead and pause the video just because sometimes this may take a while. Alright, now that this is done, you should get an option just like this. You want to select Restart Later. And then there's, uh, you want to go to Start Menu and type in Defragler. Oh, spelled that wrong. Uh, I have to reinstall it, but I'll go ahead and use um, a Windows Disk, um, the Windows Defragger. So I just type in Defrag and then do Disk Defrag Winter. In this case, you'll be using um, a Disk um, Defragler. And once this is open, you want to go ahead and select um, Defragment Disk. In this case, I do not need to do it because I've already done it uh, previously. And the last thing is Flash Cookie Remover. These are hidden cookies that Flash actually stores that can be used for lots of things. So for your privacy, I'll show you this too. Uh, you may have a list of sites here that are pulled up, but in case, in this case, I already deleted mine. So you'll get like YouTube, Facebook, stuff like that. You just want to go ahead and select delete all cookies and ask if you want to delete them. Go ahead and select yes, and then close this. That should be it, guys. If there's anything that I missed, please let me know. Oh wait, yeah, I did. I actually missed something. Uh, you want to go to your start menu, then you want to go and select computer, but you want to right click it and click properties. Select advanced system settings, and then you want to select the advanced tab. Go to performance, and then select settings. You want to um, check all the things I have checked here. So I'll just like wait, I'll pause the video. Actually no, because you can pause the video and do it. So once you have the ones I have checked and the ones I have unchecked, then go ahead and select OK. And then OK again, and close the folder. Sorry guys if I went a little bit too fast, it's just there was too much to show and so much little time. Um, I, oh yeah, disk you know, I did this in the last tutorial, so I've been kind of screwing up on this tutorial quite a lot, like three times, it's my third time. So once you type in disk cleanup, you want to go ahead and select the drive that um, your computer is running on, in this case minus C, and sometimes it may take a while to um, calculate everything, but I already ran this, so it should not take that long, or in this case I'm just going to pause the video because I have a feeling it will. Now that this is done, you should get a window just looking like this, and select everything you want to delete. In this case, I have 16 megabytes because, you know, I already did this again. You just want to go ahead and select OK, and then delete files. Once that is done, then you can go ahead and restart your computer, because so all the changes that you've made can apply. Uh, sorry if I made any mistakes in this tutorial. Uh, if there's anything else you guys want to question, please comment below, and I'll see you guys later.